Well, I've got a quiet moment here. I'm going to try my first screencast and introduce myself. This is me, Matt McCormick. I'm currently uh, here in this picture. I'm at the top of Mount Agung in Bali, Indonesia, 3,412 meters above sea level. I'm originally from Canada. This is Ottawa, the seat of Canada's government. This is Ottawa in the fall. This is Ottawa in the winter, the world's longest skating rink. And I went to university right about over here, just beside the Rideau Canal. Ottawa is lovely when it's like this, not so great when it's like this. So I live in a much hotter climate now. I was curious about the world, so I left a few years ago and began teaching internationally. First here in the lovely city of Pereira, Colombia, in the foothills of the Andes, then in Porto Alegre in southern Brazil, then in Mount Monganui, New Zealand, then in Bali, Indonesia. This is my school here. I did actually take this from a plane. And now I live in bustling Doha, Qatar, since last August. This is my family, my wife and I, in a rare vacation away from our children. Here's our children, Noah's eight, Gabrielle is three, and we were visiting Prambanan in central Java a couple of years ago. More recent photo taken last July, just before we left Indonesia. In terms of hobbies, well, I have children, so I kind of gave those up, but I used to love playing soccer, still do occasionally, and basketball, and did a bit of singing. Used to sing at sing the national anthems before the baseball games of this team, the Ottawa Lynx, who don't exist anymore, and did a CD of original music a few years ago. Never got very far, but that wasn't the intention. Now, all my singing is done either around campfires or in other people's living rooms. I also, of course, love mathematics, and I love trivia. I used to do some trivia in a restaurant back in Indonesia, but... Um, the taking university courses now just took up any spare time I had left. And I do love reading for pleasure, reading mathematics books for pleasure. Here's where I work, although it doesn't look like this right now. It's This is what it's supposed to look like in a couple of years' time. Uh, this is Qatar Academy in Doha. At Qatar Academy, uh, in terms of technology, it's very advanced. All the students have their own laptops. It's a one-to-one -one laptop program. Uh, younger students up to grade four are provided with or have access to laptops. And there's no more uh, computer labs per se. Well, we use lots of technology. In fact, I'll show you my possibly my favorite piece of technology, Google Classroom. This is one of my grade eight classes that I have this year, and I don't know what I did for Google Classroom. So there's the About section where I put in all their old assessments they're reviewing for their exam tomorrow. Other course materials, including the textbook, uh, their effort and achievement rubrics, and then the daily stream, well, almost daily, where I put any homework tasks and study guides, and they can leave comments, and so on. Uh, very useful. And back to the presentation. There is uh, one more thing I want to do. And since I'm, I began discussing that I was a climatic refugee, I'm going to find the two-week weather forecast. There it is for Doha, Qatar. Um, it's currently 35 degrees Celsius. Here we are, for those of you uh, not familiar with the map of the, this part of the world. And uh, yeah, this is the forecast for the next two weeks. So I'm just going to arbitrarily snip that and put it into my presentation forecast for the next two weeks. So I'll copy that image. and slide it in here, resize, and there we go. A standalone forecast for the next two weeks in Doha, Qatar. For those of you who um, aren't familiar, 
with Celsius temperatures. Uh, let's take an example. This 45 degrees over here uh, for the 16th, uh, next Friday, uh, 113 Fahrenheit. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thanks for playing along.